99% of personal projects don't have this. And I genuinely believe this. This is clickbait, but it's legit bait, okay? What are some things that you guys think that 99% of personal projects don't have? Me, God, that's so true. <laughs> documentation, okay, documentation's a great guess and probably true. 99% of personal projects do not have contributors, do not have collaborators. They do not have people that you do the actual software development process with. A lot of the time, the thing that makes the difference between a good candidate and a great candidate is how well they can collaborate with other people. Any job description, any entry level job description, they talk about the fact that you need to be able to collaborate on a team. What does it actually look like to write code in a professional environment? This is how I do my personal projects too. There's no reason to be ashamed, okay? No reason to be ashamed, but I do think that we gotta be honest with ourselves that this is not how it works in the real world. And so we can get closer, create an issue. Now, what does this issue look like? I mean, what even is a GitHub issue? We describe the feature slash thing that we want changed about our code. Here is what it should look like to be used. Here is a to-do list that we know how it's done. All this is, is really codifying down what the behavior change is that we expect. For me, I think the important parts of that are thorough description of what the thing is that you want changed. Definition of done. How will the contributor know that they have fit your vision of what this should look like. What goes next? Someone has to open a PR. You should be able to validate easily from their PR description that they've fulfilled your definition of done. To encourage good PRs, we want to add to our project a PR template. Here's what it looks like. Why did you make the change? This almost always is gonna be a link to an issue that was opened by the person who owns the project or by you know the team that maintains the project, whatever. The implementation, as in what technical steps did you take to solve the problem, right? Oh, I added a new class, I added some new files, I called this endpoint, etc. How did you test it? which is going to directly relate to the definition of done. This one's optional, rarely comes up, but sometimes there are other PRs that are related to the changes that you're making that you might want to be like, hey, this change can't go live until this change goes live. You require the person to fill out this template so that everyone's on the same page. If someone opens up a pull request and leaves your template blank, I want you to link them to this part of the YouTube video directly, okay? Just close their PR, comment a link to this part of the YouTube video. If you do not care enough to fill out the PR template, then I do not think you care enough about the quality of contribution that you are trying to provide to this project. Please reopen the PR, filling in the PR template, or you don't care about this project a lot, that's totally fine. You can move on to the next one. It's code review time, baby. Ensuring that no major things about the issue were missed. That's like first and foremost. Hold this person to near exact code quality standards that you hold yourself to. You think that something would be better done another way talk about it. I would not frame your PR comments as like, hey, you did this wrong. It's a conversation. Not everything is going to end out your way. And your goal is just to have the best version of the project at the end anyway. You might be wrong. The last bit is a lot of PR feedback you should consider like non-blocking, right? So like, I think a big thing that people will find in PRs is they'll be like, Hey, can you name this X instead of Y, right? Like, oh, I think this naming is bad. Or, oh, I think you missed some part of our style guide or whatever, right? And these are the types of things that you should prefix with knit, meaning that it's like nitpicky. And by and large, they should not block a PR. Now, 
How are you gonna find collaborators? Oh baby, is it shameless plug time. Starting today, before this video even goes out, okay? I'm opening up a forum for you guys to post your projects. I am going to look for a readme that explains the project and its goals. At least one open GitHub issue and three, you have to have a PR template. I'm going to try my best to get people to try to contribute to these projects. Obviously, there is a balance where a lot of people want to own a project and have people contribute to it, and fewer people want to contribute to other people's projects, but I'm going to encourage you to try to do both, and I will try my best to find you people that might contribute to your project. Hopefully, all this is going to help you guys get jobs easier, okay? This is what a lot of personal projects are missing. Don't get me wrong, you can get hired without doing this, but I think it can really give you a competitive advantage.